First time fixing an iPhone and not sure what to expect? Don't worry, we've all been there. Here's a quick overview of what's involved and a few pro tips to make things easier. To set yourself up for success, you'll want to do three things right off the bat. Number one, back up your iPhone if it still works. Hopefully you're making regular backups anyway, but if not, do it now so that all your puppy photos are safe in case something unexpected happens during your repair. Number two, discharge the battery below 25%. Don't skip this step. We made a whole other video to show you why. If your phone doesn't turn on at all, that's okay. Just be extra careful not to poke or damage the battery and have a bucket of sand ready in case of any fiery surprises. Number three, review the instructions and gather the correct parts and tools. Make sure you know which model iPhone you have. An iPhone 8 isn't the same as an 8 Plus, and the parts are not compatible. Also, the tools aren't expensive, so don't take shortcuts. Prying inside your phone with a screwdriver instead of a spudger is a great way to short circuit something. Once you're inside, just follow the instructions. People get into trouble when they try to skip steps. Don't do that. Here are three things you'll run into during your repair. Number one, be sure to use the correct driver bit for each screw. Press straight down, not at an angle, and turn. Keep track of your screws and make sure each one goes back where you found it. To reassemble, insert the screw and rotate it backwards just a bit until you feel it settle. Then gently tighten with two fingers. Number two, gently pry pop connectors straight up to disconnect them. To reconnect, align carefully and gently press down with your fingertip, first at one side of the connector, then the other. You should feel it click into place. But if not, don't force it. Back up and try again. Number three, when removing the stretch release adhesive, pull them at a low angle. You'll only see this if you're removing the battery. The trick is, pull at a low angle. Don't pull hard, just keep a little tension on the strip and let it work its way out slowly. And pull on the full width of the strip, not just the middle or the sides. With a little luck, the strip will slide all the way out. If the strip breaks, that's okay. Check our guide for tips on what to do instead. Now that you know what to expect, let me give you a couple more pointers. Be mindful of where you put your pry tools. Prying where we show you is perfectly safe. Just don't use nearby components for leverage. Some of those surrounding parts are delicate and may break. Handle parts by the edges or use gloves or tweezers. Your fingerprints and skin oils can cause problems if they get in the wrong place, like inside a connector socket or on top of a sensor. But if you do touch something by mistake, don't panic. Just clean it with a little isopropyl alcohol using a lint-free cloth or coffee filter and let it air dry. During reassembly, don't force anything. If something's not going together quite right, back off and investigate. Carefully inspect your replacement part. Make sure it matches the part you're replacing. Remove any temporary films or liners and check carefully for obstructions and then try again. When you're all done, don't forget to test your phone to make sure everything works as expected. If you replace the battery, you may need to plug in and charge for a bit before it turns on. Also, please dispose of old batteries and other e-waste responsibly. Don't put that stuff in the trash. We've got a link down below to help you find a local drop-off point or recycling center. And finally, if the repair didn't quite go as planned, check out the troubleshooting link in the description. There are simple things you can check, and for not simple things, we've got a whole forum full of repair experts who can point you in the right direction. And that's all there is to it. You've got everything you need now, so you've got this. Happy fixing!